Hey guys, it is one half of Mint Model Horses, and today I have my Bride Fest haul. Um, I'm Emma, obviously. Um, Hannah may or may not be doing a Bride Fest haul, I don't know. If she does, obviously you guys will see it. Um, if not, she might do a different haul on her own channel. Um, so make sure you're subscribed to her channel, but yeah, there's not too much to say. Um, I think I'll get into stories throughout the, <laughs> about the weekend. Um, as I go into this, but um, a lot of the stories you will see in my vlog, or our vlog. Um, and yeah, so I'm just going to jump right into it. Obviously, first we have the celebration horse, Nicholas. And he is super cute. Um, obviously, you guys have all seen him. Mine is really nice and super dark, and he has really good masking on his face. And I noticed a few of them have, like, bad masking around their tail, but... Mine's pretty good, and this is a really um, cute new mold that we needed, so I'm very happy with him. His color's gorgeous, and the real horse is super cute. Moving on, I got the Celebration Stablemates, the best of Briarfest, I think is what they're called. Um, and my set's really nice, I'll just show them really quickly. Um, I took a while to handpick them because... I wanted to find a nice set, and this one is super cute. Then we have the mini Pele. And then the mini... I don't remember this guy's name. This one's really nice. Mini Caprihana. And the... Um, I don't remember this one's name, but he was on the... The polo smarty jones okay so moving on to my special runs um i originally had a ticket for landler and the surprise which we'll get to in a second but um we got quite a few wild card tickets and i went through the line and got elba and spree they're super cute i don't know if i'll have them by next briar fest i might sell them next year but um they're really cute and i really love this full mold but this mare is really nice and i needed a paint mare to show so um, she's super cute, and I really, really like her pattern and her color, so she might stay around. See, I ended up having to show Hannah's, well, I didn't have to, but, um, I showed Hannah's models for her at the Briarfest open show, um, because she wasn't feeling well, so I took over for her, and I showed her horses, and she was very, very kind. Her and her mom, um, gave me this, uh, Rapunzel, and she is really cute. I didn't plan on getting one, but... I'm actually really excited to show her. This one is, um, like, a really light variation. She's, like, well, you can't really tell on camera, but, um, her hind end is very, very light, so she's really cute. Um, and she'll probably be staying for a while. Uh, continuing to special runs, I originally got a Matt Landler who, um, was pretty. Again, I was at the open show on Friday, so, um, my friend picked up our special runs, and I got a Matt Landler and a Wedgwood surprise, which we'll get into, because <laughs> my, oh, my surprises this year were chaos, and not super happy about it, but, um, yeah, I ended up trading for a Glossy Landler on Sunday, who I'm very happy about. His dapples are, like, the nicest I've seen, and, um, he looks gorgeous in gloss. This is, like, the nicest this is personally the nicest landlord I've seen. I haven't, I don't know, his dapples are really, really nice. So I'm excited to show him. And yeah. So I tried my mat for gloss. Um, over the weekend, I pulled a total of, <laughs> I don't even know how many surprises. I think I pulled five. And this is what I ended up coming home with. Um, on Friday, I originally pulled this Matt Deco. Um, this isn't my original Matt Deco. I actually pulled three of these, and this is the third one. Um, so the Matt Deco was the first one I pulled on Friday when my friend brought our special runs to the, to the open show. And he's super cute, but I'm just not a huge Deco person. Um, and I do really like him, but he's for sale, and I have someone interested. Um, so if he sells, then he sells. But I have him here now, so I showed... I might as well show you guys... Um, He's cute. If you're a deco person, he's really pretty. I like him, but um, I just don't need decos, and I don't love the Cleveland Bay mold. 
Um, next, I have this matte appy, which honestly, at this point, I don't even remember how I ended up with this one. Um, I think I pulled a matte appy at some point during my wildcard tickets, and I uh, have it. <laughs> it's for sale, and I think I have someone buying it um, that's local that I'm going to go do a pickup with. And then I pulled another one of these, and I sold it. So I sold two of these matte decos at the park and at the Clarion. Um, and then I had this array of trades that happened and I ended up trading, um, Dennis, who I know a few of guys, a few of you guys definitely know. Um, his username I think is Denise Wise Storm. Um, but Dennis was so kind and let me trade a Stein that I ended up getting for this guy. And this was my favorite variation. Um, I originally really wanted him in gloss, but I figured out that he is a exact, like, color replica of Chicory, who I really like. Um, and Chicory is with this braided mane, so I kind of like the matte more now. I don't know. Um, I do kind of wish he had a face marking, but <sighs> that's my favorite variation. I don't know if he's going to end up staying forever, but, um, he's cute and... I like him for now, so <laughs> he'll be staying. Um, if you guys can't tell, Hannah and I have been, become very picky with our collections. Um, so a lot of things have been sold, and you'll see that in our collection tours at some point. But yeah, um, these are my special runs that I got this year that I actually came home with. <laughs> I do still kind of want a Bay Marzipan, so if anyone sees one, then let me know. <laughs> I also picked up a Chablis. Mine has a really dark face. I spent a while hand picking him. He has a dark face and he has um, really nice dapples, which you can't really see in this light, but um, he's super pretty. The real horse is gorgeous. So I had to have this guy and I kind of wish that they did the gloss thing with them this year, but they didn't. That's okay. Moving on to like other stuff. I traded one of my surprises. I got a Silver Bay surprise that I traded for a Matt Buckskin surprise that I traded for this. <laughs> so I came home with the um, Sabino Seven Arts surprise. He's really pretty. Um, I have really nice stock horses to show, so um, I don't know if he's going to be shown or staying around, but um, he made me happier than that Buckskin did, so he might be staying for a while. Who knows? Okay. Next, moving on to my Clarion purchases. I'm going to try to go in order of what I got each day. So my very first purchase at the Clarion was Hermos and Corazon, which was very surprising because I thought that I'd never own these guys because their price is going up quite a bit. But I found them for um, pretty much original selling price and they're in really nice condition and I got their COA and everything. Um... And I really like them. I've always really liked them. Excited to show them. And yeah, I'm excited to finally have something on this mold because my mom really likes this mold. Um, and I've wanted them forever. So here's the baby. Super cute. Excited to show them. Next is Bonfet. Um, if you know me, then you know that I've been talking about this horse for forever. And I finally picked one up for a really good price. No one seems to like this horse or this mold, but I really like him, and I think he's gorgeous, and um, I always regretted not getting him from Briarfest 2014, and I picked him up, so yeah, that is that. So I also bought a Baloo, who I uh, actually just did a pickup for. This was um, kind of a weird purchase, but um, I had one of these guys a while ago, probably about four or five years now. Um, and I sold mine and I always kind of regretted it because he's really cute and I needed more ponies. Um, and mine used to show really well. So I picked up another one and he's really cute and he'll be staying. Next, I picked up, um, a horse that I sent out for paint a while ago. Who is my, hold on, I'm trying to pick her up. My MEM No Inhibitions, who you guys know that I got for Briarfest last year. Hold on, my focus thing is like really just messed up right now. 
Um, I picked up my MEM no, inhibi no Inhibitions, which um, was sent out for paint last year. Focus on her face. There she is. She is gorgeous. Um, she's painted by Horse Havens Horse Heaven Studios. Um, and I'll post some more pictures of her on Instagram, but I'm very happy with her. And yeah, I'm excited to have her painted. She went out pretty quickly since um, I had Vinny for a long time before he went out for paint. And then also from Horse Heaven Studios, I traded my matte Astrid for her glossy Astrid because she wanted an Astrid to paint and I forgot to put in my choice for Astrid. And I wanted a glossy one, but they sent me a matte one. So um, we traded and that was really convenient. And I'm very thankful that she did because my uh, my matte one didn't have any dapples, which was kind of annoying. <laughs> so yeah, I have that one now. Next, um, we tried to go to Equilocity and it was kind of a, not the best experience, but I ended up coming home with a stone anyway. This one, this guy is not from Equilocity, but he's an older um, one of a kind. I don't know his name, but he's like a sunburnt black, um, walking horse with high whites. If you know me, I'm a sucker for black horses with high whites. Um, so this guy had to come home with me and he's a very cute. Next, we've already seen sort of in the background. I picked up a Jasmine. Um, I wanted this girl for a long time and she was one of the only two horses um, that I came into Briarfest knowing that I wanted to come home with, and I found one, so, yeah, here she is. Okay, I also got a ganache in a trade. Um, I traded him for the, um, ASB Palomino Clock Horse, and he has, like, I didn't notice this when I picked him up, but he has, like, the, the bubble wrap stuck to him. <laughs> So if any I, if anyone has ideas on how to get that off, um, his oops, his bubble wrap melted to him. This was not from me. This was from the other person that had him. Um, I just didn't notice it when I got him. So yeah, uh, <laughs> please give me ideas on how to get that off because um, it's very annoying, and um, I would like to be able to do something with him. But I can't with that stuff. So, anyway. Um, my final purchase from the Clarion was this Sancha Surprise in gloss, who I got for an amazing price um, on Saturday night. She's gorgeous, and I'm really excited to show her. Um, and she reminds me a lot of my old horse, Rocky. Um... And I've seen them show really well, and I've always kind of wanted one. I liked the matte one, but um, I didn't need it, so I sold my matte one. But now I really like the glossy, so yeah. Okay, my second favorite purchase from Briarfest, and the only thing I went into Briarfest looking for, is this glossy mixer quarter horse, who is just gorgeous. I'm going to walk a little closer to my window so you guys can see. Um, and I picked up this guy, and... <laughs> He was new in box, so I have his UPC and all that stuff. Uh, not much to say about him. I got him on Saturday when the crazy, insane live auction was happening. Um, and I was actually in the room with this guy when that Pegasus sold for 65 grand. So he's going to have some type of expensive show name in reference to that. Uh, yeah. And... My last purchase and my favorite purchase from Briarfest this year is this Tennessee Walking Horse Custom on the um, American Saddlebred Mold, who is done by um oh my gosh, I can't remember the artist's name. And I had a very lovely conversation with her, but I can't remember her name. Joyce Savage. Um, and he is just gorgeous. He has a solid narrow head and his legs are even. Um, they're like re-sculpted to be up even. He has the dock tail. He's a portrait of I'm Vita Blue. And he is gorgeous. 
Um, obviously, he has a different mane, too. He has a bridal path. And, yeah, this guy... Definitely my favorite purchase from Briarfest. I've wanted an ASB custom to a Tennessee walking horse for a long time, and when I saw this guy, I fell in love, so he obviously had to come home with me. I think that's it. <laughs> um, honestly, not my favorite Briarfest. Um, even though we did get to stay the Clarion, just weird stuff. But um, nonetheless, I had a great time and I met some really cool people. It was really great meeting Dennis and everyone who came up to us. Um, I thank you and thank you guys for um, watching our content and um, letting us know and having us sign stuff. And it was a great year. So um, hopefully next year will be even better. Hannah and I have some plans. And yeah. I will see you guys. Give me about a week to get the Briarfest vlog up. Um, and then, uh, who knows? We'll start doing normal videos, hopefully. <laughs> um, summer's been busy, but uh, we hope to get back into normal video making. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe, like, all that stuff. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye!